Welcome to Floracast, the podcast for greenhouse growers. Floracast is brought to you by Greenhouse Grower Magazine, in conjunction with the University of New Hampshire, North Carolina State University, Kansas State University, and Cornell University. Thanks to this podcast sponsor. This week's podcast is from Brian Krug of the University of New Hampshire. In the past, growers have been able to download a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet that allows them to determine the correct amount of fertilizer to mix into water to get the appropriate concentration when using a proportioner. That calculator no longer works due to changes in the newest versions of Microsoft Excel. A new version, called FertCalc, has been developed by the University of New Hampshire and North Carolina State University. This new version is now web-based and does not require any downloading. The calculator can be accessed through the UNH website, www.nhfloriculture.com. After pointing your browser to nhfloriculture.com, you will come to the UNH Cooperative Extension website for greenhouse and floriculture crops. If you look at the left-hand navigation bar, you will notice a tab for Grower Tools. Clicking on this tab will bring you to the GrowCalc homepage. To start using FertCalc, click on its logo. On the first screen, you will need to enter in your company's name and your name. Use this drop-down menu to choose water-soluble fertilizer or water-soluble fertilizer with acid injection. Finally, choose the number of stock tanks or injectors you are using, up to four tanks. For this example, we will use water-soluble fertilizer and two tanks. Once you've made the selection, click on Submit. A new screen appears, which is titled, Solution tank number one of two. On this page, we will enter in the injector and fertilizer information for the first tank by simply clicking on each of the white boxes and entering information with our keyboard. For this example, we'll have the injector set at a ratio of 1 to 200. The name of the fertilizer is Dark Weather Feed. Bedding plants will be our crop. We will be mixing 50 gallons of stock solution. The cost of this fertilizer is $1.15 per pound, and it will be used in House 1. I want to get 150 parts per million from this fertilizer. Notice that you can select to calculate for desired phosphorus, potassium, or nitrogen. And finally, put today's date in. Notice that some of these fields show up in red and some in blue. Those in red are required for the calculation and FertCalc won't work without them. Others are in blue and they are optional. If we scroll down, FertCalc needs us to enter in the analysis of our fertilizer, which can always be found on the bag or label of your fertilizer. The analysis of our fertilizer is 15% nitrogen, 0% P2O5, which is how most fertilizers are labeled, not by actual phosphorus, and 15% K2O, which is how potassium is also labeled. I'm not going to put in the values for the rest of the optional nutrients, but we can if we choose. But I am going to enter in the values for the different forms of nitrogen. When you look at your fertilizer label, you'll notice that nitrogen sources come from a combination of nitrate, ammonia, or urea, and in some applications, this can be very important. In the 15015 that we are using, the 15% nitrogen is made up by 13% nitrate and 2% urea. Once all the values for tank 1 are entered, we can click on this button to take us to the next tank. But notice that FertCalc has been doing calculations as we go. After clicking Go to Next Tank, notice that some of the information is already filled in, like crop, location, and date. These are the same values I entered on the previous screen. I still need to set my injector ratio for this tank, which is also 1 to 200. In this tank, we'll be mixing magnesium nitrate. Since 15015 has no magnesium, and in the concentrated form, the calcium in 15015 is incompatible with magnesium. The stock tank is 50 gallons, and the cost of this fertilizer is $1.30 per pound. And we want to get 50 parts per million nitrogen from this fertilizer. Again, we enter in the analysis for the fertilizer in this tank, which is 10% nitrogen. The nitrogen comes completely in the nitrate form. This fertilizer contains 0% phosphorus or potassium, but it does contain 9% magnesium. Again, I'll skip all the other nutrients right now. If I scroll down, we can see the amount of fertilizer we need to mix in our stock tank 
and the nutrients in parts per million being supplied. Scroll down farther and we can see the same information but for both stock tanks collectively. Once we click on Submit Tank 2 Values, we will see the same information but in a little bit more useful format. If you were to print this from your browser, you would get odd page breaks and extra graphics from the web page. However, if you click on Print Report, a new browser window will open that is formatted to be printed. Now just use the print function on your browser to send this to your printer. If I close this window and return to the initial results screen, you will also notice that we can print to PDF, which will allow us to save this as a PDF on the hard drive of the computer. I hope that this brief tutorial gives you the confidence to start using FertCalc for all of your fertilizer calculations. I'd like to thank the Fred C. Glockner Foundation for making this update of FertCalc possible through grant support. Thanks for downloading this episode of the Floracast series, and thanks to our sponsor, Jiffy. The Jiffy Plug is a cost-effective rooting media containing high-quality substrate and a paper sleeve. Proven worldwide as an excellent propagation media for many crops, the Jiffy Plug is available in different plug and tray sizes and a complete range of substrates, including European peat to match crop requirements. Jiffy, let's grow together. Come back next week for the next edition of the Floriculture Podcast Series.